MC Fix It here with a 2002 Town and Country. Uh, if you're having tip-em issues, um, this is a way that you can kind of reset the entire tips. You only need a couple of tools. You'll need a uh, 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, a ratchet, an extension for the ratchet, and one zip tie. The way this works is you go ahead and take off uh, the negative first, and you will want to make sure you are loosening up your ratchet. And this is not a stock bolt on this one. Um, something has happened, and they have put a just a regular bolt back on this side, which is kind of jank. Uh, thank you, Dodge, for doing that. This had a new engine put in uh, right before I got it, and they even put a Mopar battery in, which is probably completely overkill and way too expensive. Um, but, so you go ahead and take this, pop it off, set this to the side. You're gonna do the same thing over here. This one is the correct one, not been jerry-rigged by Dodge. You go ahead and set that off to the side as well. This is where you're going to need the 13 millimeter. There is a bolt down here for the tray. After you get it loose, it's sometimes just easier to spin off with your hand. I do prefer to pull the whole battery out for this. Uh, and you're gonna wanna set the battery on something that is like a big chunk of wood. So you can see I have just a piece of wood right down here set the battery on and this is where it seems kind of stupid what I'm going to do next but this actually does help reset it there is absolutely no current going between the positive and the negative let me say that again there is no current going between the positive and the negative um, for the sole fact there is no battery that's why I took the battery out just to really kind of show you and the goal of this is to go ahead and to connect the positive and the negative so you can kind of do a little loop-de-loo here. This is a little easier said than done, but um, you can also use some different things, but this seems to work really well to keep them connected. So the goal is you leave this connected for about the next at least four hours, but overnight is even better. It's evening, so um, leave that connected, and that helps reset the entire battery and system um, not the battery I'm sorry the entire tip them so right over here this beautiful thing gets reset and uh, gets in a whole lot better shape sometimes if you have lights that are blinking really weird or some different stuff just keeps happening that's just really funky this is sometimes an easy step to fix this and uh, makes a pretty simple fix just a couple of tools and you can have it done so after you've let this sit for at least four hours or overnight in my case, go ahead and cut. Normally it's easy to push it to the side and get underneath and uh, just cut it. And uh, that fell on the ground, so I'll have to pick that up later. And then you're just gonna go ahead and uh, make sure the little piece is off so your battery can go in. Push these off to the side. Go ahead and grab your battery. and the negative will be here and the positive is on this side make sure it actually says that as well next thing i do is go ahead and put this in this helps secure so this does not rattle and shake around again this is that 13 millimeter go ahead and put it on hand tight and then just a couple of extra turns once it's Pretty much hand tight, just helps secure that in place really well. Right there, that helps that so that does not move near as much. And then kind of reverse order, you're gonna go ahead and put the positive on first. You don't want to over tighten these, but you definitely do want them tight so they do not move around. One of the big causes of issues that it do seem like with batteries is sometimes the terminals are not actually tight. And so you should not be able to move the terminals when you're done. And again, this is where Dodge put the really stupid one on. Should not be that way, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't 
pay a whole lot for this vehicle, so. Well, I guess in service fees for myself probably was a lot. And sometimes it does help to have an extension on this. I'm gonna actually do it this way just to make it a little easier. Same concept, make sure it's nice and snug and your tickum should be all reset and you're all done. Thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe if this was helpful. If you have a question, go ahead and put it down in the comments below.